Welcome back to building a WordPress theme with tailwind and underscores. Today we're going to tackle the sidebar. So if we look at our sidebar, we currently have no styling other than the hyperlink styling that we added earlier in the series. Uh, so we'll want to clean this up and uh, add some spacing here, as well as uh, style this search bar. Alright, so let's get started. Now the sidebar is set up in the functions PHP. If we open up this file, let's go take a look at the sidebar. I can see here, uh, underscores is already registering the default sidebar. Um, we're given ID, description, and then a few things here, before widget, after widget, before title, and after title. So what that is doing is if we inspect here, Before the widget, we're adding a section with an ID and class. And after a widget, we close that section. So we can see here we have the section ID, recent post two, class, widget, and then the widget name. This is the recent entries. Before title and after title is adding an H2 with a widget title class. So here's our widget title class. Uh, so if you want to modify your classes, you could do it here. But what we're going to do is build components so let's go ahead and create a new file. Let's go into SAS components, create a new file called, let's call it widgets.scss. And let's go into our style and make sure we import this. And you want to make sure we have gulp watching the files as well so that we get all the latest changes. Now first let's clean up the spacing and the design here of our titles. Uh, so we look in here, we have a widget area that wraps all of this, and then our h2 widget title class. So we have our widget area, wrap around, use that to wrap all of our elements here. And then we have our h2 widget title, h2 widget title. Let's uh, apply a text color here. Uh, let's see, what text color do we want to do? We could do, we could do text teal dark. Maybe it needs to be darker. There, I think that looks decent. So text teal darker. We also want to add some, uh, some margin here. So let's do a, margin y of 2. Maybe this needs 4. Alright, let's do that. Margin y of 4. Let's check that out. There we go. Now let's clean up our lists in here. So let's go into our widget area all ULs inside this area, let's apply a list reset class. There, that got rid of our bullet points. And now our LI elements inside there, we can do apply, let's do a padding top and bottom, so that's the Y axis of two. That's a little too much. Let's just do one. All right, I think that looks all right. Um, I want to go ahead and indent them a little bit. So let's do a uh, margin left of one as well. Maybe that needs to be two. Now let's take a look at the search box. We will need to style inputs in general later, but the search is a little different because we have an input and a search button. So let's style that a little differently than we'll do the rest of the elements. So if we go in here, we have a widget search area. We have a form. We have our input, which is a type search. And then we have our input type submit. So how can we make this look nicer with tailwind? 
Well, let's begin by taking the search form and making that flex. That'll push these things together. So let's do that in here real quick. Search form, apply flex. All right, let's make the uh, search bar look a little better here. So let's do inside their search form, we have input type of search. And let's see, what do we want to do here? Let's apply, let's give it some padding on the top and bottom. So padding two and left and right of four. Um, let's give it a border, maybe two pixels. Um, let's do border teal light. Let's see how that looks. All right, let's give that some rounded borders. So we'll do rounded full. And what I'd like to do is have it just rounded on the left and flush with this button and the button rounded on the right. So let's change this rounded to, let's round the left side only. And let's give it a text teal darker. All right, that looks good. Now I'll style the button real quick. So let's go back over here. We have our input type search, the input type of Submit. We're going to apply the same paddings, PX4, PY2, and we want to do rounded right full. Let's check that out real quick. All right, that's getting there. Let's do a cursor pointer. So when we hover it, we have the pointer. And let's do the text teal darker. All right. Let's just add a quick background on here. So BG teal light. All right. Now we're using some similar things here on, on both the input and the button. So let's do a input type of search and an input type of submit. Let's see, so we're going to want these guys. So let's grab these. Uh, let's see. So we can pull that out of here and there. All right, still looks the same. Now let's add a few uh, things when we, oh, oh, we need to get rid of that outline. Outline zero. There we go, no outline. Uh, let's see, um, let's maybe do some changes when we focus here. So on the search box, we give a focus. So when the search box is selected, let's apply a border teal to it. So that'll darken it up a little bit. Okay. Probably want to add a transition on this. Uh, so I'm going to do it on both. Transition 300 milliseconds all ease. So anything that changes on the search or the submit will be eased in 300 milliseconds. There, it's real subtle, but it looks a lot nicer than before. However, I don't know if you can see this on the screencast, but the right side changes colors because it also has a border. So on the search box, let's do a border right of zero. There we go. So now just the edge is here changed to a slightly darker teal. Now on our search box, or on our submit button, we'll do an and hover. So when we hover on the button, what do we want to happen? Let's apply BG teal, so slightly darker there. 
and then also let's do text teal darkest. This will give us more indication that this is actually a button. There we go. So we can search, hover, it all looks good. We also make a slight separation between the post area and our widgets. So let's go up to our widget area. Let's apply here a, let's do a border left of two. And let's color it teal lightest. All right, let's give it a little padding here. See how that looks. All right, there we go. So now we have a slight separation between our widgets on the right side and our main content on the left. All right, I think we're just about done with our home page here. We have our post styled, we have our widget styled, we've got our header. We just need to knock out the footer down here, and then we can start working on the rest of our theme. Thanks again for watching this episode. If you haven't already, please sure to subscribe. We'll release a new episode on this series every Friday morning.